My face slim? Yes, sir. Yeah, my face slim. Okay, good. I will lose more weight. <laughs> okay, so you do and I do my video. Okay? Okay. Okay, so. All right, Loy Masita Sweeney from LoyMasita.com, who's Loy Masita and Think Personal Branding. The date is uh, 10th October 2017. Time right now is 9.30, 9.29 in the night. You see, my wife is putting up her music. She's putting up her music and, um, you know, she does her thing, I do my thing. So anyway, uh, today's video, I wanted to speak to you more about uh, thoughts and prayers. You know, um, don't mind, things are a little uh, not so you know, professional, right? Let me put this forward. Okay. Things are not so high fi it's, it's pretty much a simplistic uh, household. But I wanted to speak to you on this topic about thoughts and prayers. What has been happening is, if you see on the internet, whenever there is a, uh, a tragedy that takes place, like the Las Vegas shooting, or, uh, you know, a, a tragedy of human proportions, like a, a terrorist attack, or... Uh, um, you know, even small incidents like let's say you lose your job or someone you love dies or some tragedy, any kind of tragedy. Today, it's become a trend for people, uh, including politicians, to say, let's give our thoughts and prayers. Let me just uh, get this sorted out on this. The screen will go back again. Wait. Um, you, you know, uh, one second. Okay, I put it on never. All right, it's your, the screen shouldn't go blank. So the, the point I'm trying to tell you is people have this tendency to say thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. We'll, uh, like the World Wrestling Entertainment, I watch wrestling sometimes. I even watch uh, the news on um, the Telegraph as well as Al Jazeera. So they show these politicians, they show these wrestlers, they even show Donald Trump. We give them our thoughts and prayers. And then there is other, this other presidential candidate, not candidate, congressman who says, let's have a minute of silence and give them our thoughts and prayers. And then they just stand like this. They wait and thoughts and prayers. Even the WWE, we will now give them a minute of silence. Mm. Thoughts and prayers. What's what's gone wrong with you people? Are you become stupid? Is something really mentally wrong with you? I, I do you have uh, some you know is your brain capacity become even more smaller than what it is? It's like for example if you tell me Loy, I lost my job. Can you help me find a job and I tell you uh, Yeah, wait, let me give you my thoughts and prayers you know, I, I go to get a job. And the most ridiculous thing is now on social media, you get everyone who says, let's give them our thoughts and prayers. They'll write it down. Thoughts and prayers. Are you seriously, is something wrong in your head? People are putting, I changed my profile picture to support Paris, Paris shooting. So I changed my profile picture. And you change your profile picture with some, uh, you know, um, graphics, support Paris. How about supporting Syria, you know? You don't support Syria, you support Paris. How nice is that? Oh, you don't support the people in Pakistan. No, 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 you don't. But you'll support people in the United States. Oh, that's okay. You'll, you'll pray for the Christians who died. You'll not pray for the Muslims who died. Oh, thoughts and prayers, not for them. Okay. It's, it's so fake. It's like Donald Trump, I give my thoughts and prayers. It's like these congressmen and politicians. I give my thoughts and prayers. And the next thing you know, he's biting into a juicy burger. He's having a scotch. He's enjoying. He's going to a club and dancing. What is his thoughts and prayers? In fact, I find it so ridiculous when somebody says, Lloyd, I'm going to cancer. I'm going through cancer. Please send me your thoughts and prayers. So you know what I do? I type thoughts and prayers. I send them. They're like, what? I said, yeah, you said you want thoughts and prayers. I send you thoughts and prayers. Because this is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. Today in the day of social media, you know, instead of being more intelligent, people are being more stupid. The so thoughts and prayers. So India has a massive unemployment problem. Let's give them thoughts and prayers. Your father is going to die. Okay, I'll give him thoughts and prayers. Your mother is suffering. I'll give him thoughts and prayers. You want some money. I'll give you thoughts and prayers. You know, even when I was going through the operation, the surgery, I don't know whether I live or die, whatever, anything can happen. People are, saying, people are sending me a message. Lord, I send you my thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. I just wanted to, you know, 
give them some bad words, just like, fuck off, you know, you and your thoughts and prayers can go to fucking hell. I don't need your thoughts and prayers. I need, either you send me money, which will really help me, or you give me some business, that'll help me. I don't need your thoughts and prayers. So, the point I'm trying to tell you is, you people need to grow up. You people need to seriously grow up and stop this bullshit of thoughts and prayers because it's valued nothing. And for all those retards who are putting on social media, oh, people in Paris died, I said them, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. Oh, people in US died, thoughts and prayers. How about, you know, changing the gun rule and not giving anyone guns, no guns at all. In UAE, nobody has guns. I don't see any problems there. In US, everyone needs to have a gun to protect himself from what? People are just taking those guns and shooting, shooting, shooting. It's, it's stupid, man. Thoughts and prayers. Please grow up, have some common sense and stop this nonsense of thoughts and prayers. If I were to lose a job, I want a job. I don't want your thoughts and prayers. If I want money, I don't need your thoughts and prayers. Uh, you can't stop a tsunami with thoughts and prayers. You can't heal cancer with thoughts and prayers. There are children who are dying of hunger. You know, send them money. Don't send them thoughts and prayers. This statement has become like the excuse of a lazy man. You know, you see somebody suffering and people all over social media, I send you my thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. Your father's dying, thoughts and prayers. Mother's dying, thoughts and prayers. You know, one day when someone dies in your family, I'll send them thoughts and prayers, prayers and thoughts. And then you'll be like, oh, Lord, I'm so touched. You sent me thoughts and prayers. I'll be watching a movie. I'll be watching a movie, enjoying myself. And then I just type thoughts and prayers. Maybe I'll be having sex with my wifey. Well, I can't have it with my girlfriend's so arm, my wifey. And then I'll say thoughts and prayers. So I hope you have understood. I hope there's some common sense in your head. And I hope you realize that this bullshit about thoughts and prayers doesn't help anyone. It's bullshit. It's worth nothing. In, in fact, it's an insult. And I hope you grow up and stop this thoughts and prayers nonsense. Thoughts and prayers. By the way, for all those people who are stupid, I send you my thoughts and prayers. Hope that helps. Live from LiveMasida.com. Who's LiveMasida? And thank Puzzle Branding saying goodbye for now. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> stupid.